Hello, I'm Ibjax Toycat and welcome back to the video. So today we're going to talk about one of the most exciting possibilities that comes out of the brand new Minecraft coming to the console. You know, new Minecraft Xbox. It doesn't have a very clear name and I know I've been talking about this a lot, but it has been massive news if you're a console player, but it's also massive news for other platform players because this will allow us to transfer our Xbox worlds to this brand new Minecraft Universal platform, which means you'll be able to take an Xbox world and convert it to the phone or the other way around. It's really exciting stuff and I want to talk about how that's possible and what the, you know, kind of implications of that are in today's video. Hopefully you all do enjoy it. So like that you do like the idea of having a Minecraft world that can transfer from any device to any other device. That's right, you can have the same world now on your Pocket Edition, on your PC, and on your Xbox. It's a crazy stuff, and I want to talk about how that's possible and how you can actually move that file around. So, yeah, let's get straight into it with the very first step. The thing that has been confirmed and that's still technically underway, but they're making sure they get 100% right, and that is how you transfer worlds from the Xbox One version of Minecraft to the, uh, you know, the Minecraft new thing. You know, the thing that's just called Minecraft, and basically this is going to be the same way you transfer from your 360 to the One, roughly they just described it, it goes to the Moyan Cloud server, then you download it to your other version, and because they're connected to the same game attack, that should be easy enough, and you should just be able to magically take the file, put it somewhere else, and then it'll be on your Pocket Edition, or just Minecraft as it's known, and then you can play that file on your Minecraft, you can invite people from other devices, and they can play that world with you. However, you might then want to take the world and put it in other places, or you might want to download it, or if you might, if you might be really into a world, and you might want to put it up for download, because right now, Xbox One worlds are entirely impossible to put up for download, even with the crazy specialized, you know, those tools that like 1% of people use, even in that case you can't use the Xbox One because of the encrypted file format. However, once it transfers over to the brand new version of Minecraft, what you'll be able to do is a slightly complex uh, you know, process, but if you have a Realms, what you can actually do is you can take that world that you already have and you can upload it to your Minecraft Realms. So yeah, you can take your Xbox One world, transfer it to the brand new Minecraft, and then transfer it to Minecraft Realms. And that's going to look something like this. I'll show you actually of the Windows 10 version, just so you can see what this will physically look like, because bear in mind, again, Windows 10, Pocket Edition, and the brand new Xbox and Switch, they're all going to be the same version of Minecraft, so I'll just give you a little bit of a peek at how this will actually look. Here I am in the Windows 10 version, as you can see, Minecraft Windows 10 edition, exactly the same as what's going to be just be Minecraft from now on, whether the, whatever platform you're on. Let's just pretend we're playing on the Xbox One, so I can show you exactly what will happen. So let's say we've transferred our world from, you know, Minecraft on the Xbox to Minecraft that's just called Minecraft, and uh, once you've done that, you can have, obviously have the option to purchase yourself a realm. Mine has expired because I haven't used it in so long, but it was a realm that existed on the Pocket Edition, and what you can actually do with that is if you put your world onto that realm, which is a thing you can totally do, again, there's a replacement world button if you have an active world. Uh, what you can actually do is you can actually put your world onto there if you want to and you can just play any world you'd like to. So this is also useful for playing like mini games and stuff but if you want to have your world and you want to access that same world wherever you are then Realms is perhaps the best way to do it because all of these worlds are stored locally on my uh, you know my PC as it uh, turns out right here. However this world is stored in the cloud which means I'm always accessing it from the Mojang server. Again you pay a fee for this so you got to bear in mind you might want to do the trial if you want to do this for free but what you can actually do is once it's in there you know we've replaced our world we put our survival world world we love so much is you can actually download it on any platform or if you have this amazing adventure map you can download any platform and then you can share that file with other people so yeah we can actually hit download and as you can see it's going to download the world from the realm so you know just in case we want to make sure we have a physical copy or whatever the thing may be you can actually take a copy and you can do this on any device you like to which means that once you have this xbox one world so we're done with that now once you have your xbox one world transferred once you put that on your realms you can then download that file on any platform and you can share it with anyone you like you can share it with android users you can share it with ios users you can share it with Windows 10 users, you can share it with other you know Xbox users indirectly, I guess, by using these other platforms, and it means that basically there's going to be a proper map sharing function thing built into Minecraft, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. Which means that if you want to, uh, you know, if you have these amazing worlds, let's just hop into a friend's realm, for example. Uh, so no one here seems to have an active realm besides this person, but you can hop into anyone's realm and you can see their sort of stuff. So whatever goes on here, let's find out, I guess, for the first time. You can actually like hop on their stuff. You can see what they've done, but you can also download it, and they can give me a download. So if we like what we see here, I mean. We probably won't because, you know, random realm. But, you know, if we like what we see here, we might just be able to pick it up ourselves. I believe, actually, this is actually the Redstone Mansion uh, DLC. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it looks a lot like it anyway. But, you know, this this is probably just the Redstone Mansion, which I could get myself. But if I couldn't, then in theory, I could check out this realm, be like, wow, that's cool. Can I have a download? And if he wants to share it, again, only if they want to. There's no artificial way to just, like, pick up the files, as far as I'm aware. Uh, basically, then they could, uh, you know, decide to give me the download, and I could play this myself. Which means that essentially, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really good news in, in a way, because it means that not only can you share maps, but it also has some positive implications for the future. Because, again, bear in mind, this map right here, this, uh, zombie, uh, oh, what's going on here? Uh, you know, this 
this um, Redstone Mansion thing. This is actually a DLC they put out. It might have been for free. It might have been a paid thing. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the kind of, like, sign of things to come where you'll be able to sell your worlds as part of, like, mashups or community worlds. And some of them sell for, like, ludicrous amounts, like $9. I don't know who's paying that much for a world, by the way. But in theory, you will be able to then make money off your existing Minecraft Xbox saves if they're good enough. Again, there's a lot of requirements for that, and it's a really closed market right now. But in the future, they want you to be able to sell your stuff. And uh, although that, that starts a whole other argument I'm not too sure about, uh, in theory, if you can make stuff this good, or probably a lot better if we're being honest, uh, you will be able to eventually sell it, and if anyone's willing to buy it, you can make some money off that. So yeah, uh, this this is a brand... Oh, do I not get blocks when I break them? I guess not, but <laughs> uh, basically, yeah, this is a brand new thing which is coming in, uh, obviously, the next update for Minecraft on the, just Minecraft as we're going to call it, which is, you know, I, I, I'm never going to be able to adjust that name, but once that happens, you will be able to sell and buy a world, uh, you'll be able to get, you sell your worlds, so that you, you'll be one of these people in the store eventually, and if you have a popular enough world, you can, in theory, make money from this. Again, look at the prices of these things, by the way, so uh, these are mashup packs, 990 coins, but if we just want to buy a world from someone, so let's say the Destructor Bot 5000, it's 830 coins. I have no idea what that means because, you know, coin prices like what is that like four pounds roughly not bad to be honest but yeah it's, it's, it's roughly four pounds just for a world so you know oh this is actually a free map as it turns out but yeah point being uh, you can just make four pounds you can make six pounds in this person's case uh, which is like seven eight dollars and uh that's kind of exciting i guess but mostly it's the fact that you're able to transfer worlds from any platform to any other one and i think that's a way bigger deal and that's something you might be excited for because consoles have been a very closed garden and they're gonna be an open garden can you say an open garden i don't know but i hope you all enjoyed this video regardless like it if you did like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like this sort of video share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because i make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if subscribe you'll see them daily on your homepage. thank you very much for watching let me know what you think about all of this in the comments down below as always i'm you know again i we're in such uncharted territory here i like to know what all of you are thinking because i don't know sometimes i'm just like i think this is good maybe question mark and uh, yeah i'd love to hear what you think thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye